Greetings, Turians, Chaos here. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to quickly thank everybody that's played my new adventure map for the mobile update. In just the three days since it came out, it has almost doubled the downloads that my first adventure map did on CurseForge. So thank you all very much for playing and I hope you enjoyed it. So mushrooms within Terraria are quite an interesting detail to be added to any sort of nature build. It just adds a splash of color and variety and it's fairly easy to use as long as you don't want to use the standard growing mushroom because not only can you not be placing them, but they break easily. But the two dye variants don't break and you can place them and with just a splash of paint they could look quite interesting within any build. Additionally lately I've been playing a bit of Minecraft and it's been quite a while since I played and I came across the mushroom biome and it got me thinking that it would be interesting to see if I can replicate those sorts of builds within Terraria and yes you can. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you. No, I'm just kidding. So obviously just using some mushroom block and some paint, we can get the two basic structures that appear within Minecraft, but that's not what I'm after. So today I'm going to be showing you a few different mushroom designs that you can make within Terraria to make them look even better. But before I jump into that, I have a question for all of you. Over the past couple of weeks of my own time, while I've been playing Minecraft, I've been working on a particular house, and I showed it to a few of my friends, and they've recommended that I throw a Minecraft video on my server once a week. Now, I haven't been sure about that because my channel up to this point has been entirely Terraria, and I want it to remain a Terraria channel, but I have been enjoying building in a sandbox game in a 3D environment and I've been wondering if you all would like to see some of my builds or some of my videos once a week or maybe once every other week on Minecraft within the channel. So let me know in the comments if once a week you'd like to see me do something other than Terraria. It's probably just going to be Minecraft and maybe Hytale when it comes out, but the channel will primarily focus on Terraria. So looking at this first mushroom design, there are a few things that we could do to kind of enhance it. And the first thing that I would do is to give the stem a little bit more variety and just a tiny bit of shape. Maybe we could just make it come out to the side like this or make it wrap back out to the center. Just a little bit of a curvature to it to kind of give it a little bit more of an interesting appearance than just a straight line straight up. Now if we switch to the brown paint we could still just give it a really flat top and if we were to do that I'd probably go one extra layer and hammer it to a half block just to give again a little bit more variety to the texture maybe even slope the two outer edges but another thing that we might consider doing is giving it a kind of pointed cap rather than a flat one. Now, something to keep in mind if you're going to be doing a pointed cap or any sort of mushroom cap in general, is if the cap is going to have an odd number of spaces, you're going to want a one thick stem. But if it's going to have an even number of spaces, you can see how it doesn't line up quite right. We're going to want that to be an even number for the stem. So we'll just stretch this out like this so that it remains centered on the mushroom cap. Now with this kind of mushroom as you could tell it still glows and the thicker you get the stem the more apparent that glow becomes. So that's something that you'll have to bear in mind. Now going back to the cap we're just going to raise up the segments kind of slowly right here and just fill in the gaps and then we're going to taper it off a little bit more so we have up two up two up one up one to get a nice slow taper and then we could just slope these down with half blocks on the top and a slope on the bottom and we get an interesting little cap that's a little bit or in my opinion 
than to the flat one. Now the flat one could be amazing for parkour, and obviously it's really, really reminiscent of not only what you see in Minecraft, but what you might see in Super Mario. So it is a really good design. Just showing you some various options. We could also hammer out the bottom of the cap, or maybe just leave these two parts and hammer that segment out and slope these. And then using some living leaf wall with some brown paint, we could add just a little bit of an under texture to that cap to give it a little bit more of an interesting appearance because the underside of mushrooms are generally quite a bit rougher than the cap or the stem itself. Or the second Minecraft mushroom design, which is more of a toadstool appearance. I'm going to also show you different materials that you could use so you don't get this glow in the middle from the glowing mushrooms because you might not necessarily want the surface mushrooms that you're building or any mushrooms that you're building to have a glow to them, especially since the glow is blue and we're painting different colors of mushrooms. So what I'm going to be doing is grabbing a living wood wand and some white paint in this case and I'm just going to build the mushroom stem. And then on top of that, we're going to use some deep red paint with some marble block to create the cap. And we've already got a more interesting mushroom. We can grab some white paint again with that living leaf wall to give the same under texture at the bottom of the mushroom. And then to kind of get the texture of the dots, instead of having to uh, do something like just paint the squares, which does turn out to look extremely square, we could just create some holes within the mushroom by either breaking blocks or just hammering them down to a half. And then we could fill in those holes with some white painted marble wall. But furthermore, I'd like to enhance this design even more by making it a quite a bit of a different uh, shape. So we're going to start off with that white paint and the living wood again. And we're going to create a stem similar to what we have here on the left. I'm actually going to make it a little bit thicker towards the bottom. And then as it works its way up, it's going to get a little bit thinner. And then on top of that, we're going to grab the marble and we're going to grab the deep red paint and we're just going to give this a bit of a different kind of shape to it. And then once we have all of that done, what I'm going to do instead of creating dots is I'm going to create lines. And how I'm going to do that is just by taking my hammer and just doing random shapes. So you see if I hammer this a few times, I get two diagonals. And if I do a flat there, and then I do a diagonal here, I could connect it with another diagonal there and a flat there, come up to this block, do a diagonal to kind of connect those together. And we end up with this roughened up line texture and we don't have to delete any blocks whatsoever. We just have some hammering going on. So you can actually create really interesting uh, textures like this. And if you've seen, for instance, my Yggdrasil build, um, you could see me do a bit of this within the tree or even my Celestial Biomes build. I did a bit of this in the ground. And that's just kind of what we're going to be doing here. Once we're happy with that texture, we're just going to once again grab the white paint with the marble wall and just fill in all of those gaps. Now you could just do the typical toadstool if you'd like and have dots. 
I just wanted to show you something else that you might do to get a little bit more variety to the mushroom. And then we'll just finish it off on the underside with a bit of that leaf wall. And since the mushroom is so large, we could actually arc the leaf so it's not perfectly flat like it's been in previous renditions of the mushroom. And here we go. We've got a completed mushroom. Now, if you wanted this mushroom to be a glowing mushroom, which is what you've mostly seen in my builds, if you've been following my channel for a while, all we need to do is grab some deep sky blue paint and some sky blue paint, and we're just going to paint this mushroom with the deep sky blue. And then with the sky blue paint, not the deep version, that's what we're going to hit the uh, leaf wall with. And if you don't like how dark that is, you could try something like cloud, which I've done in the past as well, and does look quite nice. Uh, to get the mushroom to actually glow, you could not only use uh, the mushroom block for the stem, which I might recommend, again with gray or white paint, your decision, but you could also grab some Sapphire Gem Spark and we'll just place it within the mushrooms. Well, in this case, I suppose it's marble. But as long as it doesn't poke out of any of the edges, you'll see like if I place it right here, we get this coming out the side and it doesn't look very good. But if we do it anywhere where we can't actually see the Sapphire Gem Spark all that well, like along the edges of these cracks is a great place or anywhere that the uh, marble itself is particularly thick, we could fill in a nice glowing appearance to these mushrooms that does emulate the glow of a glowing mushroom biome pretty well. Now you might not agree with me right now. So if we were to take this mushroom and I'm just going to use cheat sheet to make it a little bit easier on me. Uh, a little further off to the side. And if we were to move this mushroom into a glowing mushroom biome, you'll see that it does match with the glow of the mushroom biome really well. So while it doesn't look all that great in standard lighting, once you've moved it down into the dim and kind of blue glow of the glowing mushroom biome, whether this be on the surface or underground, it does match really, really well. So I hope you found these build tips useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to leave a comment on whether or not you'd like to see me do some Minecraft once every week or two. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.